a little bit before this, okay. and he was popping off to me, bragging about how last season he had a winning record over Lima. Dang. And uh, was oh, he missed Olimar three times. Not a good omen. <laughs> That's a poor <laughs> menu tech skill, I gotta say. He is already so shook. Yeah, yeah, he just he gave Lima the out. The character. Yeah. So, what I I told Army was that there's some anti Olimar tech. Okay. And he told me not to tell this to anyone because actually he didn't actually know it. Okay. So that that was funny to me. But, okay. Um. So you know how Olimar can throw Pikmin on you and it's annoying and they stick to you. Yeah. Um, if you mash buttons, they fall off, mm. but the thing is your character does those options. Right, right, right. So if you hold shield, um, you can also mash buttons and things come out, but if I press A, it grabs, mm. and you know how that works. B, the B button, or the special button, actually does nothing, so if you hold shield and mash B, you will, uh, effectively push the Pikmin off of you without your character actually doing anything. I did not know that. Man, few people do. That is so wild. Yeah, it is wild, and uh, I told him that, and he goes, really? I was like, yeah, and he goes, don't tell Lima that. Don't tell Lima that. <laughs> so now we're going to see if Lima reviews the VODs. That's the only way he can find it. Give Tourney Locator some views on YouTube. Well, That's how it's done. I don't. I feel like Lima's ego will let him watch the VODs. Yeah, you're right. It I don't depends know if, on if he wins. Here's the problem, though, is I don't know if Lima's ego is strong enough to watch it unmuted. Fair, yeah. I was uh, talking to Mistake about VODs, and he goes, is it bad that I don't watch VODs and lose? And I was like, yes. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> you gotta learn. It's like, I can't handle it. And I'm like, you're still a top player, so I'm not going to tell you what to do. Right. <laughs> but also, watch your VOD. <laughs> so let's go back and talk about that one kill we just suddenly glanced yeah. over of Olimar just giving him the big boy fist, and the game just ended. Oh. Don't throw it back. Any any Olimar throw combo is safe. Press a button. Oh, he's out. Okay. Did he just give up? I, I guess so. I feel like that did not raw kill. He's slowly drifting uh, no, into the blast he side zone. No, he side beat out. Okay. Yeah, he side beat towards the blast zone. And Army's like, <laughs> Just, yeah, okay, that was cool. Here comes right. Bayo. Yeah. Dang, I have never seen Lima's secondaries get so thoroughly trashed that he gave up. I don't even think he was getting that trashed. No. It, I thought he was still at a redeemable percent. He could have he just, just gave up. top playered him at any moment. For sure. All right, but now he's really going to top player with the top tier, so... Uh, either that or he's going to kill himself. Oh, good hit coming. the balloon. Okay. Uh, that, that is wild that he just gets thrown yeah. in a smash attack. Yeah, I was going to comment when Lima was holding towards Blast Zone. I was like, for some reason, he's not trying to get these Pikmin off. And I was like, oh, he's just trying to take them to the Blast Zone. Yeah. <laughs> That's his strategy. If, if I'm going to die, I'm going to take your Pikmin with me. Yeah, he just, like, put them all on me, <laughs> and he just goes down with the ship. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Okay. Ooh, silent? Silent ABK? Is that what that was? That's I heard, warm. like, no sound effect on that. I don't know. I know that some, like, ZSS Paralyzer can land silent, but yeah. I've never heard of that with I've the, never he, aerial move. Also, wasn't a, like a land. He did it frame off stage. That was interesting. Okay, Lima landing his first significant hit, but yep. he doesn't go for a witch, uh, witch twist. Or witch twist. Uh, yeah, witch twist, too. That, that was true. You didn't really see Highland SEIing it at all was the thing. Yeah. I, I feel like you get the first three moves of that, and if they aren't uh, SDIing, you also assume they're not going to SDI the fourth one. Right. Yeah. Because especially with like ABK, I think it's down and in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's in. You want to you want to go like directly towards. Yeah. Uh, respectively, down and in is how you want to DI or mm -hmm. SDI ABK, depending on how ambitious you are. Oh, dash tech. He's I, got yeah. one Pikmin left. I have an unwritten rule where if someone's ever throwing a move out below the ledge, I'm going to assume it hits the ledge. Yeah. But I was pretty surprised that Dash Jack did not. Ooh. After a barely not going to take it, all is dead, so light. right? Oh my god. Through the fire and flames he goes. Wow. He's, he's had no time to pull Pikmin. There we go. Gets one. Finally touched the ground. Oh, he's dead. Ooh, whites do so much damage. They just do so much more damage at Brawl. They're like mm. 20. No, I think... I, I don't know. It's like 18 to 20 something. It was a lot. I feel like Lima got like two clean hits that whole time. But Bayonetta. For wild. Yeah. Um, Up throw? Yeah. Bayonetta is a pretty interesting complex where uh, people complain about the SDIing moves because uh, they'll say I SDI'd and I got, I ate like 40%. 
You know what blows but, my mind is play against any other character and they just have guaranteed combos. Yeah, because if you SDI, you will still take damage, but you will not die. actually die off the top. It's it's pretty impossible to die off the top if you SDI, even at all. Play against Falcon, DI all you want, you're getting up there 20 times. Yeah. If you DI in, you're probably getting need. Yeah. It's terrible. If you're doctor, can't believe, also probably getting need. can't believe I couldn't SDI out of the need. <laughs> Can you believe? That's why he was bad in Brawl. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. What? Yeah, sure. He will ask if I want water just so I can break the immersion of this uh, creatively <laughs> built set. Wow. Army's sitting at a... I, I feel like for all of my this is kill percent. I love the double purples right now. This is for the footstool setup right there. That that double jump had to have been a footstool. Yep. There we go. Lima, Lima bringing it back. It looked a little dangerous there. I was like, is, it is did. they about to go... Also, I would Down like to give a huge shout out to T-Lock and FX real quick for giving me Aquafina water, some of the, my favorite personal oh. water brand. It's very good. Mm -hmm. There uh, are many worse options. Yep, I have to agree with you on that one. We like to provide for the people. That's what we do. All right, going back to Smashville. Let's see if things will change. I feel like... The start was really, really, really close. Yeah, I mean it was pretty. It was a pretty good start. Like Lima just seems like he struggles with understanding what this dumb little stupid character does. That is the biggest thing that Lima has ever struggled with is just matchups. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that might be why Army could brag about that record before. Yeah. As someone who has kind of, uh, at least like I was familiar with the Dallas scene during the very early life of Smash Four. Yeah. Uh, Lima kind of came out came up right after I stopped coming to Dallas. Okay. So he just came out of nowhere for me. He really did come out of yeah. nowhere, though. I mean, hey, so did, like, uh, I felt the same way about, like, Cosmos. Yeah. Yeah. Because I already saw him, Cosmos the Pikachu main. Right. And then Corrin sure came out. Corrin yeah. came out, and then he just started Cosmic winning. Cosmic Cosmos. That's yeah. the oh, real God. man. Cosmic Cosmos. That is a throwback and a half. Absolutely. Press 1 if you remember Cosmic Cosmos. Press 2 if you don't. Get that chat engagement no matter what happens. Yeah, down smash him. Oh, no. Ooh, my guy. Lima, <laughs> Triple jump, please. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's such a scary position. It's such a missed, Lima thing. If he missed the triple jump, you're just dead. I mean, he was at like 14. Yeah. So it's kind of understandable because what are you really going to do to him? Yeah. The answer wow. is up tilt him a lot because he's not SDIing your normal combos or your special combos. Well, like that, but better. Yeah. <laughs> Do that, but again, you'll get it this time for sure. Sybe and him. Lima, you're not the man I thought you were. <laughs> Lima, no. Oh. What attack? Still got yeah. caught, though. It's Big one of, pickup. One of those characters, you gotta learn how to attack on stuff like that. For the sure. Olimars, the Fox, the Pits, the Rosas. Those, there's no hitbox recoveries. Mm -hmm. Pretty pathetic if we're being real. Yeah. There's really no benefit to having no hitbox on your recovery. Yeah, I guess you could argue that they have distance, but... Where do they have a so hitbox? Dark. Like, have you ever seen Falcon? Yes. Uh, he has a command grab on it, which is kind of sick. True. That's true. Oh no, I'm drinking water, I'm unprofessional. How dare I let them know?